Hey, so today I wanted to show you how to wear black lipstick, <laughs> which might seem like so random. Dude, I don't even have what I need. So here's the thing about black lipstick. I personally think it like black is a neutral, like it can go with anything. Um, I personally think that if you want to rock it, you can do it, rock it, go, love black lip. But there are a couple little like things that I can tell you that'll make it a little bit easier if you're like, I don't feel comfortable wearing it. So the product that I'm gonna be using today is uh, Caviar from MAC Cosmetics. This is from their, what are these called? I can't remember what these are called. I'll obviously link it down below, but what I like about this formula is that it's very like comfortable. That's the liquid lipstick that I'm gonna be using. ColourPop has one. There's a bunch of black lipsticks out there. Uh, I love black lipstick, but something that you wanna keep in mind is it's obviously like a super intense statement lip. <laughs> Uh, it's very, very dark. This is not a red. It's really, 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 really dark. You do want to use a lip liner. You're going to have a bad time, basically, if you just apply it without applying some kind of a guide. You need a lip liner. Personally, this is not sponsored by MAC, but I am using all MAC products. Um, I love the MAC lip liners. They are some of my absolute favorites. Uh, I'm actually going to be using the shade Night Moth, which is not black, but it's incredibly dark. So it's like this really, 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 really dark, almost like wine shade. Um, and actually, if you are trying to figure out how to get into wearing black lipstick or really, really dark lipstick, you can just kind of like use reds and get incrementally darker as you go, if that makes sense. You don't have to use a lip liner because it can be very hard to find a black lip liner. In fact, what I typically use for black lips is actually the uh, MAC, once again, Smolder Eye Coal in the shade, oh, Smolder, that's the shade. <laughs> it's the Eye Coal in Smolder. Um, and it's a pretty similar formula, you know? Like there's enough wax where you, it's not like sliding all over the place, but the lip liners might be a little more waxy. Maybe. It might be a tad bit softer than their actual lip liners but you can use a black eyeliner to line your lips. You just don't wanna use something that's going to be like very creamy that's gonna like go all over the place because you really need precision with this. So I'm gonna use Night Moth. Now another thing to consider is you're putting a completely dark lipstick all over your lips, which dark colors make things appear smaller. Uh, we contour to push those areas back in space. They're going to minimize those areas, light areas, make things come forward in space. So the lighter the lip color, the plumper your lips are going to look. That's why you see a lot of people doing contouring where they're applying darker colors out here and then a lighter color in the center because it creates a little bit more of a 3D like puckered effect. So if you're doing a black lipstick, I mean, you're applying black all over the place. You might want to actually overline your lips a little bit. So we're gonna overline. So what I like to do, cause um, my lips are quite full in the center, but they go down a little bit. I like to thicken them up on the outer part a little. Starting off with that side. But I also like to kind of create like a puckered swoop, sort of. And then I just thicken that area a little. I pretty much just do my Bo or my bottom lip is pretty full. I just do it and I'll... Now this is a really nice color because it's incredibly versatile. You can use this with the black lipstick. You can use it with red lipstick. Um, it's actually, I picked it up just so that I would have it so that I could do like more ombre lips. I can't, I wish I could remember what these are called. It'll be linked down below. But this formula is incredibly soft and comfortable. Smashbox has really good liquid lipsticks as well with really dark colors. Very precise applicator. I'm just gonna work this all over. Starting in the center. And then I'm gonna slowly blend it into that lip liner. Zoom you in more. This is important.
and then you want to keep your mouth open a little bit <laughs> so you're not getting it all over your teeth while it dries oh my god i have to sneeze <coughs> we're safe now the detailed applicator is incredibly important because now i want to make sure that i'm going over that lip liner completely so i can use this to really get that detail And then for cleanup, I'm gonna use this little Hank and Henry brush, just a flat brush. And I'm just using a clean brush. Confident swoops, wipe it off. All right guys, and then you want to keep your lips pretty still. You don't wanna to talk too much, you wanna let it dry so that it doesn't get all over your teeth, cause it can. Um, it's still drying, but I overlined my lips quite a bit. If you look very closely, you can see where my natural lip line is and how much I overlined them. But I think that this is like necessary because it doesn't make my lips look tiny now. And this is the full look. I think it's fucking great. I used to wear black lipstick all the time and I wanna bring it back because I just think that it's like so sick and it's such it, it is it's a neutral it goes with absolutely anything so um when you're pairing it with eyeshadows believe it or not sometimes something with like a lot more color will look even more intense if you have say a, a colorful eye and applying a neutral for instance a black is actually more flattering um and i guess that's all i would say so if you're interested in trying black lipstick make sure you're using a lip liner super important doesn't have to be a lip liner, can be a coal pencil, but you wanna make sure that it's not super creamy because uh, it can backfire. If you are have been wearing black lipstick and you're like, I can't get away with this because it makes my lips look so tiny, consider overlining your lips. Yeah, and then uh, if you're looking for a good one, this one by MAC is fantastic, I love it. If you wanna see more videos on like how to wear certain colors, let me know. But this is like such a vibe, right? Even with this eye look. It's so black though, like my when my mouth is closed, it looks like just a black hole. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I don't know if this is like worth making or it might I don't know if it'll like help anybody, but uh, I did it anyway. Okay, bye.